Welcome back to Aurora's Learning Cebuano. Today, we are going to be talking about on physical discomforts. So, if this is your first time watching Aurora's vlog, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And let's get this video going. So, when you ask somebody, how do you feel? How do you feel? You would have to say, Naunsa ka? Unsay imong paminaw? Or, Unsay imong gibati? Gibati means feel. Unsa means what? Imo, you. Unsay imong gibati? Unsay imong gibati? So, that's how you say it when you show care for someone and you want to ask, How do you feel? Unsay imong gibati? Unsay imong paminaw? Unsay imong gibati? I think the much more proper way to say it is, Unsay imong gibati? Or, okay ra ka? Okay ra ka? So, I'm not feeling well. Lain akong gibati. Or, lain akong paminaw. Lain means not well, not feeling well. Like, you're feeling unwell. So, when you try to say that you're not feeling well, you, you would have to say, Lain akong pamati or lain akong paminaw. Lain ang akong gibati. Uh, when you say, I am tired. Gikapoy ko. Gikapoy ko. Tired I am. <laughs> tired I am. Gikapoy ko. Gikapoy ko. I think I'm going down with a fever. I think I'm going down with a fever. Murag kahilan tanun ko. Murag kahilan tanun ko. Mura is like maybe. Kahilan tanun is like the fever is coming. Kahilan tanun. When you say when I have a fever, gihilan tan ko. I have a fever. Gihilan tan ko. But when you say that the, the fever is coming, you would have to say murag kahilan tanun ko. Murag kailan tanong ko. But when you say that you have a fever, I have a fever. Gihilantan ko. Gihilantan ko. Alright, next. My truth hurts. Sakit akong tutunlan. Sakit means pain or ache. Tutunlan, truth. Sakit akong tutunlan. Sakit akong tutunlan. Sakit akong tutunlan. Alright, I'm sick. May sakit ako. May sakit ako. May sakit ako. I have a toothache. Sakit ako ngipon. Sakit ako ngipon. Sakit ako ngipon. My back aches. Sakit akong likod. Likod means back. Sakit means pain or ache. Sakit akong likod. Sakit akong likod. My neck hurts. Sakit akong liog. Liog means neck. Sakit means pain. Sakit akong liog. Sakit akong liog. Sakit akong liog. I have a stomach ache. Sakit akong tiyan. Sakit akong tiyan. Tiyan means stomach. Sakit akong tiyan. I have diarrhea. Gikalibanga ko. Gikalibanga ko. Gikalibanga ko. Next. My foot itches. Katul akong tiil. Katul means itch. Tiil. Tiil. T-I-I-L. Tiil means foot. Katul akong tiil. When you say akong, my, my. Akong tiil. Katul. Katul means itch. Katul akong naung. My face is itchy. Katul akong naung. Alright. I feel cold. Gitugnaw ko. Brr. 
gitugnaw ko. Tugnaw means cold. But when you said you are cold, I am cold, gitugnaw ko. But when you ask somebody if they are cold, are you cold? Gitugnaw ka ba? Gitugnaw ka ba? Gitugnaw ka ba? Then when you said I'm nauseated. Kasukaon ko. Kasukaon ko. Ka su ka on ko. Kasuka on ko. I feel no shit. I wanna vomit. Kasuka on ko. Alright, next. Are you sick? My sakit kaba? My sakit kaba? Unsay imung pamina. Galain ba imung gibati? They are all the same. It's like you're asking if they're okay. May sakit ka ba? Are you sick? May sakit ka ba? May sakit ka ba? When you ask somebody, how long have you been sick? Kanus a ka pa may sakit? 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 When you ask somebody, do you have a fever? May hilanat ka ba? May hilanat ka ba? May hilanat ka ba? Hilanat means fever. But when you say, when you ask somebody, does it hurt? Sakit ba? Sakit ba? Sakit ba? Sakit ba? When you ask somebody, how are you feeling now? Unsay imong gibate karun? Unsay imong gibate karun? Karun means now. Gibate feel. Unsa what? Unsay imong gibate karun? Unsay what? Imong you gibate feel karun now. Unsay imong gibate karun? How do you feel now? Unsay imong gibate karun? Has the child been crying? Nagsigi ba o hilak ang bata? Sigi means kind of like continuous. Nag, it's like action. Nagsigi ba o hilak ang bata? Hilak means crying. Bata means child. Nagsigi ba o hilak ang bata? Nagsigi ba o hilak ang bata? Hold the child please. Palihog ko o kupot sa bata. Kupot means hold. Palihog means please. Bata means child. Palihog ko. Og kupot sa bata. Palihog ko. Og kupot sa bata. Palihog ko. Og kupot sa bata. Or Palihog og kupot sa bata. Palihog ko. Og kupot sa bata. Show it to me. Ipakita na nako. Ipakita na nako. It's like when you ask somebody and they're holding something and you want to see it, you have to say, Ipakita na nako. Ipakita na nako. Ipakita na nako. Open your mouth. Bukha imong ba-ba. Bukha means open. Ba-ba. Mouth. Bukha. Bukha. Open. Bukha. Open. Ba-ba. Mouth. Bukha imong ba-ba. Open your mouth. Bukha imong ba-ba. You need medicine. Kinahanglan ka og tambal. Kinahanglan ka og tambal. Kinahanglan. Hanglan means kinahanglan means need. Tambal medicine. Kinahanglan ka og tambal. Ka means you. You need medicine. Kinahanglan ka og tambal. Kinahanglan ka og tambal. When you ask somebody to take this pill, take this pill. Lamuya kini or lamoy is like devour it. I would not recommend that. I think the best way is tunla means swallow. Tunla kini. Tunla kining tambal. Swallow the medicine. Tunla kining tambal. You could also say lamya kining tambal or lamuya kining tambal. But I would never use that. It's just not the way I want to use. I like to use tunla means it's much more proper. Swallow this pill. Take this every four hours. Tumarakini matag upat ka oras. Or you could say, Tumarakini kada upat 
ka oras. Tumara, tumar, tumara means take or drink this. Kada means every. Upat means four. Oras is hours. So, when you say take this every four hours, tumara, kini. Kini means this. Kada, upat ka oras. Upat, four. Oras means hour. Tumara, kini. Kada, upat ka oras. Take these pills every four hours. Tumara, kini, kada, upat ka oras. Tumara, kini, kada, upat ka oras. Don't let it get dirty. Ayaw pasagdi nga mahugaw. Hugaw means dirty. Ayaw pasagdi nga magkahugaw. Don't scratch it. Ayaw ug kaluta. Or you could say, ayaw ug kawuta. People use interchangeable the L or W. You could say, ayaw kaluta. Or ayaw kawuta. Or ayaw kauta. Sometimes you shorten the kawuta to kauta like kalut or kalut, kaluta, kalut, itch. Don't scratch it. Don't, don't itch it. Ayaw kaluta. So our next subject is going to be friendly bantering, common courtesies, expressing appreciation or praise. So thank you for watching our words vlog. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.